How can it be lightened? Well, through multiple ways. The first most essential way is to bring their priorities and their demands and concerns on the decision-making table. And in order to do that, we need them included. We need women and girls, and this means youth as well. And when we say included, we mean truly meaningful inclusion and engagement. Not just a number, but true inclusion and on all levels of decision-making processes, from global policy processes to national policy processes. Because that's step one to bringing their voices to the table. And then we can move forward to other steps, which is just transition of renewable energies. So truly creating um, equitable and justice in climate tra in energy transition. So we're talking about, so if we're gonna take the example of fossil fuels, and electricity. So when we're talking about the burden of fossil fuel consumption, it's not from Africa. And in order to really transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy, clean energy, then we need support, technical assistance, as well as financing. Because at the end of the day, we are not the causes of climate change. We are not the drivers of climate change. If you look at the amount of carbon emission that Africa has, it's about 7% while North America and Europe contribute to more than 55%, almost 60%. And this is what we say uh, at the African Feminist Task Force is that when we talk about aid, when we talk about support, it's not charity, it's responsibility. We did not cause this problem and it's a burden for, the, for developed countries to expect us to solve it.